I am going to have a major glow up vlog. I'm in my glow up era because we are leaving for Italy for Samira's wedding soon. If you guys have followed along on vlogs, you know I am so honored to be a bridesmaid in her wedding. And I'm super excited. And then we're gonna be staying in Europe for like two weeks, just like traveling around. And I wanna be my best version of myself while I'm there. So I'm doing like all the things this week to get prepped for that. And starting with, I am going to try a lymphatic drainage massage for the first time today. And I'm very excited because I've heard such good things. It's like a wellness treatment. It's really good for detoxifying your body and like your lymph lymph node system is super important for your health and your wellness and everything so it's so good for that and then aside from that it also has like visual benefits I think like you guys have probably seen those before and after pictures like it like gets you unbloated and kind of like snatched but that's not really the point of doing it it's more for wellness but you know we'll take aesthetic bonuses as well so um, that's what I'm going to do today and a couple of weeks ago I went to this aesthetic lounge um, called Bear Bunny and I absolutely fell in love the owner Becca is so incredible she's amazing I'm obsessed with her I'm like fascinated by her and very drawn to her she's so knowledgeable and she's so good at what she does and I just like love spending time around her. So um, I'm going back there today to get my massage. She said it's gonna be really relaxing and I might fall asleep, but I'm afraid that I'm gonna be like laughing because I'm very ticklish. So we'll just see what happens. We'll see how much I film in there. I'll, I'll insert whatever I can from that and results for you guys. And I'm excited. Oh my God. Spread just laying out just a little bit, perfect. That feels very interesting. Right? It's like a vacuum, kind of? Yeah, a little bit. It's so kind of think of it as like the old Chinese medicine, um, like the cupping. So it's oh, going to yeah. release the toxins, it's going to kind of release the lactic acid, it's going to do circulation, but with technology. Okay, that's cool. How's the pressure? It's fine. Okay, so basically what endophology is, is you're circulating your blood, you're moving everything around, you're creating blood flow. Um, for someone who has like experiences like the texture of their skin, cellulite, um, some fat tissue, anything like that, this will kind of diminish it. Uh -huh. It manipulates the skin um, to re re reproduce the collagen and then internally we're moving things around. So things can get stagnant, there's not a lot of blood flow, we're moving it. Okay. Also carry a lot of toxins in our body as well, so just kind of moving this around, pushing it through the lymphatic system, and then when you sweat or if you're drinking a lot of water and you're hydrating yourself, uh -huh. you're actually cleaning it out. Okay, we love that. Okay. So I'm out and that felt amazing. As you guys can see, it was actually like a machine. So it was a little bit different than I was like I had in my mind. I thought it was going to be like a hand massage, that type. But they have this amazing machine there that is basically like the same um, effect as the hand but it's like with technology is what she was explaining. So super cool. She said it's less painful than with the hand. So I actually really enjoyed the way it felt. It was kind of like a little vacuum 
um because it like suctions and then it has this like rolling thing on it as well that's kind of just like breaking everything up and so it's like a massage and a suction all at once it actually feels really really good and um they're super knowledgeable they're super nice and helpful so i really enjoyed like learning about it and i definitely want to like incorporate it into my routine it's just kind of like a wellness maintenance thing but as i mentioned before too it can help with aesthetics as well so i think it's really good for breaking up like cellulite or like texture anything on your skin it can also help like burn fat and like shrink areas that you're trying to lose weight if you are so I said for me that was more like my stomach my sides where I hold any extra weight so we kind of like did a little bit extra there um, but you can tell them like problem areas if you have any and they can focus on that so I'm gonna try to get in again and then I always love they send me home with this giant jug of like alkaline water I believe so I need to drink a ton of water oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm spilling I'm spilling please hold um I need to drink a ton of water today so and yeah it was really cool not bad at all I'm not hard or scary or uncomfortable and I would do it again I'm gonna do it again so I love sharing these little experiences with y'all Okay, this is also kind of like a visual. I didn't take like a before or anything. Sorry for that door. But I feel like my stomach is just like, it feels like toned and tightened right here and like smoother. Okay, so I'm gonna go hit a workout. I'm gonna go to Pilates. It's the same day as when I got my massage. I just tried on a new lip gloss before I left and it looks kind of crazy. But it's actually recommended after that treatment to like move your body throughout the day. Just like keep everything moving and then I'm going to shower right after I'm done like sweating it out. So I can like wash off the toxins. Not reabsorb them back into my body is how it was explained to me anyways. So yeah, I'm going to go to Pilates and try to get a little bit of movement in. I'm like way off on my workout schedule right now just like kind of prepping, getting ready to head to Europe and do the wedding and everything. Everything's crazy right now, and my schedule just hasn't been normal enough to be as consistent as I'd like, but you know, you get a workout in when you can. Continuing on my week of glowing up for Samir's wedding and our trip to Italy, I'm getting my hair done today, and I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet. Normally, I either like asked to go way blonder, just like as blonde as possible pretty much. If you guys have watched my hair videos before or the vlogs, you know, there's just a, you know, you can never be blonde enough. So I might just be like still working on that. Just be like, can we just go super blonde? It is like the end of summer or I love dimension too. Sometimes I like to do like a lot of contrast and add in some low lights and like a root smudge go a little bit darker, but then still keep some like really bright blonde pieces. So I'm gonna talk to Aubrey, who I'm going to today, um, one of the hairstylists I've gone to forever, I love her, and see what she thinks. Cause it is like, it's about to be fall, I don't know. We're just gonna see what's up with it. Also my hair has grown so much, like it can go like pretty much behind my shoulders now, which is crazy. It's just like right there, like, it's a little short for that, like it can come back still. It's grown so much, I chopped it to like here in May. For hair growth, I always mention my vitamins that I take that I swear by. So many of you take them now and you love them. I have Clayton on them, he, he's loving them. They change my life, they make my hair grow so fast and keep it healthy from bleaching it and everything. So I'll link them and my code for you guys if you're interested. And yeah, I might just do like a little dusting, like a little chop today, but um, I'm probably just gonna like grow it out again because I like the cycle of short and long hair. And also doing no makeup at the hair salon today i've talked about this in my come to the salon with me videos before too it's such a like weird struggle to be like should you do a full face of makeup because you're going to be staring at yourself in the mirror all day and like they put these foils on our heads and we look like aliens and i feel like sometimes if i have my makeup done i feel like less ridiculous looking like that but then also when i like get my when I get it all washed and everything, it like messes up my makeup and then I'm like, oh, it wasn't worth doing my makeup. So today I decided I'm going with the no makeup route 
And then um, when I come home, I have some work to do and I want to film some stuff. So I'm just going to like start fresh and do my makeup when I get home. So I'm just staring at myself like this all day in the mirror. And I'm wearing, I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing a little light breezy outfit because I don't think they have AC at this salon. Maybe they do. I don't know. But it's hot. It's summer. So I just have on this like flowy, very airy, breathable outfit. And if you've noticed multiple cameras lately or differences in the cameras, if you saw our vlog where we lost our camera, we're, we're still finding our way. So never found the camera, but never found our way either. So this is the one I'm using for now. Okay, I'm in the chair and they do have AC here. So goals, it's not even that hot. And we're just gonna go with super, super blonde because why not? It's still summer, we decided, me and Aubrey, um, we agree. We have plenty of time in the fall and winter to go for the more dimension um, and darker, so let's send it with some bleach. Super easy. Where can I put the camera? Mm, that's not good. Okay. I'm in the car now. We're out listening to some smooth jazz. I love this watercolor station. And we just went really blonde. And Aubrey does like such an amazing blowout too. Obviously, she's so good at color. But I love these like blowouts that she gives me. So good. So much volume. So fresh. This is perfect. I'm gonna feel nice and blonde going into this vacation and the wedding. Okay, and I actually got a haircut today too. So I'm gonna go home and see my mans. We're gonna have lunch and let's see what's up with his hair. I'm gonna get ready, we're gonna film and stuff, but yay. So yeah, I just did like a full highlight and I didn't do like any low lights or root smudge or anything like that. We just went all in with the blonde highlight for you guys and then we did a toner I do like a cool toned like an icy toner to keep everything nice and cool tone okay. you guys know we're leaving for our trip this week so we're just prepping for that and I ordered a bunch of packing things from Amazon a lot of the things that I used to pack already are great and I love them but I'm always looking for more because we take a lot of trips. I'm gonna take my vitamins right now too. Okay, so <clears throat> some cool finds. This is a sunglass holder case. I currently have one that's like a book style, I guess you could call it. And I do like it, but I saw this one and I thought it was really cool. So goes like that. One, two, three, four, five pairs of glasses can fit in here. I have this little magnetic thing to like hold them in, so she's nice. I like how it just like folds up like this, but this actually might take up more space than my other one, because my other one's flatter. But my other one only holds four, maybe it holds five pairs of glasses, maybe it holds six, I don't know. Um, I'll link all these for you guys, too. And then this is a brush bubble. So for packing makeup brushes, you know how they like get everything gross and dirty because of the makeup? This is like a little cap that you put on it and it has a vent at the top so it doesn't like make it all, I don't know, like what would happen with bacteria or something. But I think these are really cool. Hoping that they work out nicely. And then I also got one that is for a beauty blender makeup sponge whatever you want to call it. So you just put it right in there and then it won't get everything disgusting either. It has the little vents for like the moisture. So I also got these little cases that are kind of just the same thing, except for it's not just the top. It's like you put the whole brush in there. So I got a couple of those. I'm gonna see which one I like better when I use them. This thing, babe, is kind of for you. So just trying to be like more organized. We do use like a couple of things like this already, but this one is more 
specialized. So this is for like chargers and stuff. And just has this little thing there. And then you put like the cubes or whatever in there. I don't know. Great. So let's see if we like that. And then this is a jewelry holder. I can't remember where I saw all this stuff. I'll try to find the girl's page. But this is a little travel jewelry case. So I have like the hard kind and I use those for my trips and I do love them. But this one was intriguing to me. So it's like more of an envelope. And this, you like put your rings on it like that. This is for earrings, I think, maybe. I can't tell if those go through all the way or not. I think they do. I think this is for earrings and then this little zipper. You could put maybe like bracelets or something in there. There's also one up here. You could put like bracelets. Oh wait, no. This goes in here. Okay, so that's not very deep, but you could put little things up there. And then here we could do some bracelets, um, necklaces, maybe something like that. And then these little hooks, I think this is where you put your necklaces. I don't know, we'll see how this works out, but pretty nice. Um, that matches like my makeup and skincare bag that I have already. Okay, these are a travel shoe bag. Okay, All right, so this is for putting our shoes in and very cool. I feel like this is nice because my shoes are normally just like floating around. So I think this fits two, maybe three pairs. It's just two. So one there and then maybe one or two in here if one was like flip flops and then I don't know what you put in here but nice kind of just like keep your shoes off of your other stuff I got two pairs. I'm gonna pack like quite a few pairs of shoes this is just like a set of packing cubes I think okay so this little set I think here is I have some packing cubes from CalPack, but I wanted more. So, like this size bag, this a little bit smaller, this one that has like a handle. This looks like it's also for shoes, so this is like a little bag. You can put a pair of shoes in, that's really nice. And then this type of bag, I feel like this is for dirty clothes or something. And then here is another cube, so just like these two big cubes. I want, I want more of these actually even, so I can just like have everything be in cubes. Oh, and then this is not really for travel, but I just ordered this phone case, like a square phone case. It's yellow. And it looks really cute. Let's see if my phone fits in here. So it looks like that. If it's cute. All right, so that was my random Amazon packing haul, and now I'm gonna go use everything and actually pack. Okay, guys, on today's edition of glowing the F up for Italy wedding, I'm going to get my eyebrows done, and for my brows, I'll get them laminated and tinted, and I absolutely love it. I think it's like the biggest game changer in a beauty routine for me anyway, so it's just so nice. It makes my brows like fluffy and stick up. I also look like a little mole rat today. So I love getting that done, and then my girl Britt, she's so good. She's like the only person I really trust to do my brows. Um, I've had other people laminate them, and I don't love the way other people do it as much as her, so she's my go-to. She's so good, and she started doing lash lifts and tints, so I'm gonna try that as well, because I've, I think, I think I dyed or like tinted my lashes in high school, maybe? one time and it was really nice but other than that like I haven't done it and that was obviously five million years ago but I was in high school so I decided to try that out I feel like it will be really nice because you don't wear a lot of makeup when you're like jumping in and out of the ocean all the time and just like sweating your balls off in Europe so it's gonna be perfect and then I'm also going to get my nails done today so I go to Pink Polly my girl Anna I love her swear by her she's my queen 
and I had the chrome Hailey Bieber ish nails for the past gosh I don't know like a long time I think I'm like three weeks out so these are extremely grown out I have to do something neutral for Samira's wedding so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do it's probably not gonna be like too crazy because you know gotta keep it mellow for the bride but yeah so today is a full like being being cute not really being cute, but getting cute. Day. I'll show you guys my outfit. I just wore this on like my morning walk and I'm just gonna keep it on for the rest of the day probably because it's really comfy. This t-shirt is like so soft and loose. I freaking love it. It's Michigan. I'll link it for you guys. It's from Amazon. And these biker shorts are from Joe Brown. My New Balance sneakers. We're good. Obsessed. Oh my god, you guys, my life is over. My life has changed. My hair still looks crazy. I love my brows. And my lashes. Sorry, I don't really know how to use this camera. I'm still recovering over losing our vlog camera that we normally use, but I'm just obsessed. Okay, so I'll put Britt's handle here for you guys. She said last time I posted about her, a lot of you went to see her. And that makes me so happy because honestly, one of my like favorite parts of social media and one of the best parts of social media, you need to stay close because it's too hot. It's just like being able to work with small businesses and help them and like bring them clientele and also like helping people because Britt is literally the best person who has ever touched my brows and I love that I can like share that with you guys and you can have a good brow person because it's honestly hard to find. So yeah, my brows are like pretty dark right now since I tinted them. They will fade a little bit but I like really dark brows and I like big brows so I'm totally good with that. Um, but I'm obsessed and then the lash lift I did a dark brown instead of black so that was just like a little more natural and like perfect for summer and you know just like a little less harsh but you can do black as well so um and they're just like really curly I don't know if you guys can tell but I love them so next up is the nails we're off to an appointment we're, we'll explain more in the car. We want to show our outfits really fast. They're so cute. You did. I love it. We're um, like opposites. I know. Cream and I'm gray. My pants are way too low. I need to get them hemmed. I probably shouldn't even be wearing them. Like, honestly. Put some holes in them. Hem them yourself by right. walking them. But this set is really cute. It's like a cream color. It's from Nasty Gal. I have a discount code there, I think, and I'll try to link it for you guys if I can find it. I'm wearing all vintage. You're all thrifted up. All thrifted. And my Birkenstocks, Boston's. But uh, yeah, let's go. We're late. All right, so we picked up some breakfast in the car, and I had an acai bowl for breakfast yesterday, and I really liked it. I mean, Got a little I kick. Them, I had them before, but it's just like so hot lately. I've been having colder breakfast, and I like that. I've been making the. Um, chia seed puddings at home and having those which i really like but today we were just like in a rush out the door so i got this giant like why are these so but big though like they're is it okay so big this is huge we're trying a new place called juju bar okay it says they got it they got it going on like it's a legit spot you know they have in florida if you guys remember oh we God, go to that one that place, place. And they have tons of options. Wait, my question is that? And that's like what this place has. They have tons like of options. Like, how would I get the acai? You gotta start digging. No, but babe. Like, start digging. Babe. You have to start digging. Oh, yeah, true. How do you do that? Like, how? The spoon's not even long enough. I got a smoothie, but I didn't get a straw. I wanted a smoothie because I'm gonna be driving. Okay, like I can't even reach the awesome. I'm not okay. But I got the um oh, tsunami so bowl. Add cacao. They have mochi you can add. It's kind of they had like as many toppings as like a uh, 
little yogurt bar yet. I feel like I got the wrong bowl. You don't like it? No, like. Add Nutella, you can add peanut butter. I'm gonna look at the ingredients. The one you chose from is from the standard acai base. Uh huh. And then the other menu has like different bases. Wait, I think I got it. Oh, okay. I should have picked from the other one. So if you didn't want the acai base. Yeah. So it seems pretty good. I crave that place in Florida every day of my life though. I miss going there with Kim. Yeah, those are really good. The cow nibs are my favorite texture ever. Like what? I did Funny Bunny. Funny Bunny? Uh huh. Oh, Wait, yeah, I have Funny Bunny. That's the name of the. Polish. Why? It's just white. What's wrong with calling it Funny Bunny? It's not white. It's like a milky. It's Funny Bunny. It's not white. Alright, it's Funny Bunny. It's literally Funny Bunny. The girls that get it, get it. Boys it does that don't every know. name at the nail salon have this no. funny nerve? Nerves. Nerves. OPI Funny Bunny is like an iconic color and like OPI bubble bath. What's OPI? A brand. Oh. Do all nail salons carry OPI? Oh, that's cool. Probably. So like people go into different places and yeah. get it. That's what I've It's one big community. Funny Bunny plus some little gemstones. Okay, but anyways, continuing on the Glow Up Tour. Glow so, Up Tour. This wasn't really a part of the Glow Up Tour, but... So, if you guys watched our vlog a couple weeks back, when we went to Jen and tried Botox... Um, no, but you didn't see it because we lost the vlog camera. Right. But so you we know, told you about it. Yeah, you know that's what we were doing. And then we were going to, like... So, since it was the first time trying that... We have to go back after two weeks to make sure that like our bodies are doing okay with it and that where the injections were all made that it is giving us the results and the amount yeah it's just like a check-in yeah. we'll vlog it this time again we're not sure like if she's gonna add any if more we'll lose the camera not. <laughs> we're definitely not gonna lose the camera this time. That still freaks me out that, that we did that. So yeah, I'm not sure like what we'll do in there, but we can introduce you guys to Jen. She's the best. Um, yeah. Um, I need a little touch up, that's for sure. So I'll get a needle on my face for you guys. You liking everything? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Everything looks really natural. You just look really good. Yeah. Bright. I think your eyes look great. If you ever wanted to do a touch more, we always could, but okay. to be fair, like, I like the naturalness of right. your face. I like how you have just maybe a little bit. Right. Because when you look overdone, where it's too perfect, it can actually age you. Right. Because nobody really looks like that unless right. you're like 15 mm -hmm. or 16. Right. right. But when you start to get a little bit older, even, I mean, I always tell patients, like, do you want me to pull out Cindy Crawford's 19-year-old photo? Mm -hmm. Where she's got these deep, and she's a super mom. Do you know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, we all have, these are normal nuances to the face that you yeah. don't want to try and get rid of. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe a touch more, um, but I agree that I want it to be, like, natural and not, like, perfect or anything, but obviously, like, you're the expert, and whatever you feel, like, if there's, like, a little bit more with still having it look natural, then maybe I'd do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we could do a touch. And then, um, oh, on the Botox, mm -hmm. I feel like this Rizzo? was my eyebrow that, oh, like, oh. still, <laughs> still <laughs> on the, that is the only eyebrow that moved, it always has been, like, yeah, even yeah, yeah. before I did the Botox, I don't know, this side wasn't doing much, but this one still does a little bit. So, so maybe part of the reason why that is, is because your lid on this side is a little bit lower, and the mm. brow, everything's a little bit lower on this side, yeah. so naturally your body's yeah. so smart it tries to compensate by lifting up higher on this That's side crazy. and part of the reason why you're moving there more is because i stayed a bit higher on you uh -huh. here 
um, than I did here uh -huh. to not make you drop. Uh -huh. So I'll put a little, like a half a unit right there, raise okay. up again, and a little dot right there as well. Okay. Cool. That's it. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Easy, yeah. Got touched up. Khaled. <laughs> so that was Jen, Dr. Jen Hall. Is it a doctor? I don't uh, think she's no, a doctor. She, no. should, she be. should be. She's, she's so be. smart. We so love her. Insane. Uh, Jen Hollander um, in Beverly Hills. She's so smart. Like if, uh, if I leave any of those sound bites in there where she's like explaining stuff, she's just extremely knowledgeable and uh, seems to really do this stuff in a very she's very conservative, conservative and natural. natural way. She's so cool. Like, I love her. She has such a good vibe. Great energy. And she has, like, such a good touch. Like, mm -hmm. it, it never, I've never feel, like, uncomfortable or, I mean, we've only seen her twice. But yeah. I, you just know when um, someone is, like, good. Like, when you're in good hands. Feel at peace when you're with, like, a good doctor. Like, you you're know. not, like, on edge. Like, when what you know, is this you know. person going to do to me? No, they're very good. Um, um, so, yeah, we just got a little touch up yeah. from our last appointment. We got, like, a unit more or whatever so not not really um a difference just doing like a pinch more and then because her schedule is like so crazy and so busy we don't know like when we're gonna be able to go back so yeah. we were like let's just get like a pinch so that it lasts us a bit longer and yeah. then i had to get like a tiny bit of the filler like the under eye filler that i got dissolved because it attached to a or like, like a ligament pushed under a ligament or something which is very common she said yeah she said it's very common um it's just not from anything that i did and there's nothing to like prevent it it just happens it's like the nature of the filler she said so i just did like a touch of dissolver too but she she's very smart with it and she sees it and understands what's happening and right. knows how to handle it yeah and like I said, does it in a very tasteful, mm -hmm. conservative, natural way. Mm -hmm. So we love her. We really trust her. We love her. So we're very can happy. Highly and recommend she, like, her. She helped with our pain points a lot. Yeah. The dark circles that I like always had since I was little, like they are genetic and they're not gonna like fully go away and they're not fully gone, obviously. I'm very happy with just like I always want to try the under eye filler and see if that would help with that like pain point that I had and I'm very happy with it. And then I didn't really have like a lot of issues with, wrinkles, it didn't really bother yeah. me to have like some forehead wrinkles or whatever. I didn't have like anything very serious for that, but just having like the little bit of baby Botox that I did get in my forehead has been really nice for just makeup application and just like smoothing everything out like a lot of people say. So I'm very happy with yeah. both of those things and still like really conservative, completely look like myself. And like for guys, you know, obviously we don't want to look frozen, so she leaves mm -hmm. a lot of movement still. And uh, like my pain points, I think I discussed in the last video, uh, are, are like crow's feet. Yeah, like crow's the feet. little resting like, crow's wrinkle. feet. And uh, ever you, since, like, don't have those ever since I, I haven't had them. And uh, like you always look great. Like the whole thing with all of this stuff yeah. is like everybody looks great, no matter what they look like already. We believe that. We feel that way about mm -hmm. ourselves too. But it's like my hair doesn't naturally look like this color yeah. but i dye it like that because i like the way it looks aesthetically like my nails aren't naturally funny bunny but i mean they're kind of close but i think that also the thing with how we're approaching botox and filler and how you do your hair and nails it's like naturally like it's natural aesthetic Enhancement. enhancements yeah. like it's not we're not trying to like look like, look like, like someone dolls else or, or something yeah, yeah. no so. to us that's the way we view it it's just like you know, I wasn't born with these clothes on or whatever, but that's what I chose to wear today because I like the aesthetic expression of it. And it's like, if you want to like do your hair a certain way or get a tattoo or yeah. get a touch of Botox or get a touch of filler or whatever, it's totally fine. That's how you express yourself. And everybody looks beautiful no matter how they choose to express themselves. Totally. So that's what we believe. But we're really happy with this um, experience and this like journey that we just like decided to dabble in and yeah, and couldn't be happier with who we're doing it with. So, Love. Yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. Really, really you got to get on her books months in advance months. probably, but it's worth it because she's so Just good wait. and so knowledgeable.
thank you Blake and John for yeah, Blake and John. the wreck. We yep. love you. And now we're going to go see you for lunch. Okay. <laughs> no video taking in the store, please. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Four, four, four. What are you smudging out? That's how cute you are. What about me? <laughs> you too, Blake. <laughs> you too. Okay. She's hefty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that the right one? She's a uh, freaking yeah, oh my God, oh my God. chunky. She a chunky girl. She looks like so good. I'm like a chunky girl. How are we going to open these things though? Where are we? This is Bay Cities. Yeah. Bay City's so Deli. I got kicked, I got kicked oh. out real quick. Got kicked out of the choir. So. We got the Caprese sandwich with all the works. But you didn't get hot. I didn't get hot. You didn't get hot. No, no spicy. For no spicy. spicy. Look at that. I mean, what in the world's going this on? Best bread. Best bread. No, so this like, bread is not open. It's like this bread, just like. Oh, and then this, this salad. Salad. What is this? Wow. Excuse me? So oh, you don't beautiful. like cheese, they also make just a straight veggie, but And then also wrong. this macaroni salad slaps, but the way that I like to eat it is with the chip. Ooh, Ooh chip. A, chip. a sea salt and vinegar chip. Chip dip. I love the little chip. Mm-hmm. Chip dip. It's like, no one has time for forks. It's like, it's, it's just a chip. Oh, good. Mmm, so good. All right, bags are packed. The bags are super heavy. So, so kind of have to see what those weigh at the airport. But we're ready to go. Let's go see how Delaney's doing. You ready, girl? Hi. You ready? I'm ready. We are ready. Up to Italy. A lot of flights ahead of us right now, so. Let's just look. Literally. See you in Italy.